faster. Baron home? Not your concern. Need to talk to him. Open the gate. Not a chance. We heard what happened at the crossroads. We'll not let a man like that in here. Won't get in that way. Gotta find another. I'll look among the villagers. Might find one brave enough to help me. Man, not to panic and run when Greetings. I am here. Greetings to you. Other villagers all scurried off soon as they saw me. You didn't. Oh, I, I'm too old to scurry. Besides, what could you do to me? Kill me? Go ahead. I've not long to live. Tan me eyed? Wouldn't work. His skin's right brittle. Lived here long? Since I was born. Reckon that'll be more than 70 windows. Must know the area well. Not bad. Listen, I gotta get inside the fortress. Can I do that without going through the front gate? Ye can, but few know the way. If you were to make an humble offering, call it to this humble man, maybe I could point you in the right direction. Fine. Don't really feel like arguing with the guards. Years back, when the old lord still ruled Crow's Perch, the blacksmith's boy went missing. Old village looked for him. No luck. Finally found the boy in the river. He drowned. Tragic. But how's that supposed to help me? A few days on, an old woman who served the lord found the boy's cap near the castle well. So, either he lost it there or he fell in the well. Clever man. Village folk built a shrine where they found the lad's body, northwest of here. Wait till you find an entrance to a passage nearby. Shrine? Where is it exactly? Track that weaves through the village. Follow it to the bridge. Turn right past that, then go on, straight as piss, till you get to a crossroads. Turn right again, then follow that path up a hill. Shrine stands upon it. Right past the bridge, then right again. I'll find it, thanks. See, you're a man well traveled, so tell me.
shrine. Passage must be somewhere around here. There it is. Seems I'm in for a swim. Infocema, now those were balls. Attended a few, me and my Annie. How oh, how we danced, how we twirled, ha ha ha! Ooh! One, two, three, one, two, three, ha <laughs> ha! Enough. I don't care how you do it, but the deliveries must be weekly. Won't you stay for tea? No. Besides, you've another guest. Aha! A defender of the downtrodden. Greetings. News gets around quick. That it does. When I learned you'd slaughtered my men, I thought to have you captured and hanged. Or at least flogged. But then I thought one tough cocker if he bested that lot of cutthroats. Man like him could prove useful. I'm not a thug for hire. I know who you are, but since you come here having perpetrated that bloodbath, I assume you've something important to discuss. I do. Very well, then let's discuss it. One thing, you do well to behave this time. Remember, I've still to decide what to do with you. Which I shall do after we've spoken. Make yourself at home. Hey, where'd I put the bloody vodka? Ah, there it is. A snifter. No thanks. Didn't come here to drink. <laughs> As you will. But I'll not sit here a dry if you don't mind. Before the war, there was a distillery nearby. Best in Velen, but the horse sons burnt it to the ground. To the matter at hand, I'm Philip Stranger. Now the blob tits round here call me the Bloody Baron. Geralt of Rivia. Blob tits call me the Butcher of Blaviken. I said already, I know who you are. Truth be told, it's the only reason we're talking. How do you like it here in Velen? I don't. Swamps, bogs, marshes everywhere. Exactly. 
Someone loses their way around here, he becomes damn hard to find. What are you getting at? Many have lost loved ones here. Some their wives, others their daughters. Get to the point already. Siri, that's why you've come, isn't it? So she was here. She showed up some time ago, exhausted, wounded, and stinking like a soaked hound after a hard hunt. Later, I learned she'd come from the swamp. 